Our engineering department had been complaining to management about how long it was taking us to make their parts, but none of the engineers had any machining experience, so I'm still confused to this day as to how they were looked at by management as a legitimate judge on how long it should take to machine something. The solution they came up with to speed things up was one of the most ineffective and dishonest things I've seen during my time as a machinist, but let me break it down for you and then you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments after you're done hitting the subscribe button. So at the time, I worked in the prototype department making parts for automation machines that the engineers designed, so all the parts stayed in-house and weren't for actual customers. The machines were used to improve processes around the company in the assembly, clean room, and production departments. We typically would only make no more than five of each part, and we had to start from scratch nearly every time, cutting the stock, writing the program, making the fixturing, and whatever else the part required. So after hearing the complaints from the engineers for a few weeks, the lead engineer went to the manager that oversaw the prototype department and the mechanical engineering department. In case you're taking notes, he also wasn't a machinist, but he listened to the engineers because, you know, they have degrees and stuff. So he complained to him about lead times and shortly after that an entire new system was implemented. The new system included the lead machinist quoting every part even though they were for in-house use and nobody was being charged for the finished part. Each part had to be entered into a computer system before it was made, and then we had to clock in on the job when we started and clock out of each job when we finished. If we went to lunch or got pulled off the job briefly to do something else, we had to go into the system and pause the part we were currently making to make sure the time stayed accurate. Hey, you! Do you know that 80% of you aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel? Guys, it really helps us out, so please hit subscribe, hit like. It lets us know we're doing a good job, and it lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. Donnie! Sorry, sorry, sorry. All of these extra and unnecessary steps were implemented to supposedly make us faster. In reality, all it did was tie up our lead machinist quoting parts for no reason when he could have been using that time to make parts. One day our manager pulled us all into a meeting to go over the new changes and he told us the purpose behind it all was to track how much money it was costing the company for these custom automation machines to be made. Now that was understandable, but this guy was what we call a bean counter, so I didn't fully trust him or his motives. After the process was in place for a little while, all the machinists started to realize they were actively tracking how long each machinist was taking as a whole compared to the quote times on the parts they were making. I remember thinking, wait a minute, why would we be tracking that if this was all put in place to simply see how expensive each machine was to build? As it turns out, that's not really why they put the system in place. This whole process was a way to put numbers to each machinist and their performance. Then they were hanging those metrics over our head and using it as an attempt to prove that we were working slower than we should be. Now I'm all for trying to be as fast as possible and looking for areas to improve, but they blatantly lied to us about the why behind it all. Instead of looking for a solution and improvements to become more efficient, they were looking for someone to blame. The process they put into place actually didn't speed anything up. If the whole point is to be faster, why would you want to create a process that forces your machinists to go through extra steps, clocking in and out of jobs, and making your lead man quote parts that aren't even being made for a customer? To me, it seemed counterproductive. The quotes were also extremely unrealistic. Some of them were so bad that it was downright impossible to make the part in that amount of time. I realized pretty quickly that that was the whole point. You can't point the finger at someone and call them slow if they're hitting their quote times, so they were intentionally putting them out of reach to skew the data and make it appear that we were slower than we should be. It got to the point where a few of us went to the manager with a quote and a print and told him to have our lead machinist hit these times, and if he did, we'll stop complaining. Needless to say, they wouldn't do it, which told me everything I needed to know. If our manager would have got all the machinists in a meeting and said, hey guys, we would really like to see the lead time on these parts come down. I think there are some areas we can improve, so I pulled you all in here so we can brainstorm ideas on how to make parts faster and be more efficient. Maybe that would have been a good place to start. That approach would have at least shown a level of respect instead of insisting we're all just too slow and setting out to prove it behind our backs. Most good machinists are perfectionists that always want to improve upon things if you're honest and forward with them. This went on for over a year and in the end, it didn't improve anything. The owner eventually fired the manager that implemented the changes and if you ask me, truth, logic, and reasoning prevailed, like it usually does. Thank you guys for listening. Let me know how you think the situation could have been handled better in the comments and tell me about your experiences with similar situations. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our new platform, CNC Expert. Go set up your profile and display your work to the world. If you need tooling, head over to our online store. We have the best deals you'll find anywhere. I'll catch you guys next time.